two, one. And it's so great to have all my friends and Facebook fans back here for another episode of The Bobby Crawford Show. Yes, I know, it has been a while, I think about eight months or so, since I last did my last video broadcast. And, uh, as you can see, I'm coming to you live from a different studio. Back in November, I relocated from Wilmington, North Carolina, to Winter Park, Florida, which is a suburb of Orlando, and it's generally about 15 miles northeast of Orlando, and it's a great place to live, wonderful weather, and most importantly, low taxes. But we're in North Carolina, praise God. And that is what I'm going to talk to you about in this segment, is taxes. I did my W-2 last weekend, and my federal return was very good. <laughs> $600, very good, um, for my refund was $600, but I do have some bad news. Yes, in the state of North Carolina, a heinous act of voodoo economics was done because I have to pay $60 in taxes. Yes, you heard me right, six zero. Um, the most I ever had to pay before this uh, stupid tax reform law was passed was $16, and that was only in one year. Uh, all the other years, I got back a refund from the state of North Carolina, and it was generally between $150 to $200. Now, before you tell me that I should go back and check my taxes or meet with a CPA, if you think it was a mistake, um, trust me, trust I, went back, I went back to my federal and I looked at my deductions, my exemptions, and all that stuff, and I also looked at whether or not I could change from being full-time resident. Um, I lived 10 months in 2014 there. Could I change from, you know, could I bump 10 months up to full-time residency or would it make any difference to go to part-time residency in North Carolina for the, um, the two months that I did not live in North Carolina? And no, it was still, it's still read back on my H&R Block website that I owe $60. Now, I can think positive and say, well, okay, my refund went from 600 down to 540 And um, the, the thing about the, the, the Obamacare was um, the $95 penalty, um, it was actually, what they did was they counted as taxable income. And because I made very little income last year, um, it didn't change my refund at all. And also, I qualified for earned income tax credit at the federal level. But of course, Governor McCory, he doesn't like poor people very much. He eliminated that earned income tax credit as part of his tax reform, or as I like to call it, a tax ripoff. Um, let me see here. What do I... Sorry, folks. Live radio. Gotta love it. Um, let me talk to you about what other bad stuff was in this tax law? I've got a piece here from WRAL. This is a little dated from July 2013, uh, but it kind of goes to prove my point. Eliminates personal exemptions. Um, early last year, uh, as sure all of you that worked, you got the end of the state of North Carolina that says that you will change your withholding allowance from whatever you had. I had one withholding allowance. 
loans. And that's always what I claim on my federal, too. You had to claim zero withholding. So the state of North Carolina, they could take more out of your paycheck. And then, at the end of the year, you have to pay more in taxes. At least with me, it did. Um, it also eliminated um, an exemption for retirement income. North Carolina has seen an, a huge influx in retirees, especially where I lived in uh, Wilmington and uh, right across the Cape Fear River in Brunswick County has even uh, a larger concentration of retirees. And then I scroll down here, it says, eliminates a deduction for contributions to North Carolina 529 college savings plans. And I haven't said this here, it's NC Spin, February 1st, last Sunday. Here we go. Check this out. Uh, President Obama came under fire this past week for floating the idea of ending the 529 college savings plan. It set off a big fireworks, firestorm. The president withdrew that proposal, so now we still have a 529 savings plan. But left out of that debate, all the conservatives were criticizing him, including Virginia Fox, North Carolina Congresswoman. The North Carolina General Assembly last year ended the state deduction for off your state taxes for the 529. So when you fill out your taxes this year, you won't be able to deduct that from state taxes. Right, Nobody's talking about tell it. Tell us something. So as you can see, go ahead and mark it down today, February 3rd, at 4.09 p.m. I actually agree <laughs> with a liberal Democrat. I mean, this is not just any liberal Democrat. This is Chris Fitzsimon, one of the most liberal people, not only in North Carolina, but in the whole country. <laughs> it's just mad, mad, just mad, 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 it's the Republicans want to play into the the, the Democrats' hand on this um, very controversial tax reform legislation. And then uh, I scroll down some more. Movie tickets and other amusements will now be taxed at the full sales tax rate. Um, uh, I did I did most of my grocery shopping when I lived in Wilmington at Harris Tier. Harris Tier grocery store was a uh, one of the major sponsors of the Carolina Hurricanes hockey team. And Harris Tier will always have these little pocket schedules you could get of the Carolina Hurricanes when their games were and how much it cost. Well, uh, where they put the ticket prices on the schedule, they have at the very bottom, it'll say, it'll have an asterisk by it, and it'll say, these ticket prices do not include the new North Carolina sales tax on it. On it. And I have another cut here. Uh, this NC Spin, January 12th of last year. Here we go. Very pleased, and I think our tax reform is really starting. Well, I was going to ask you about that. We cut tax... Uh, particularly for upper, upper income. Uh, well, we, we cut tax so across the board. Okay, but I'm Stop right there. As Jim Carrey would say, you liar! Continue. I tell you, we also, I want to let you know and let the audience know, uh, when you go to movies now, you're going to be paying more of the exactly. movie tickets. You're going to be exactly. paying more for your newspaper. Well, uh, what impact do you think that... <laughs> See? And, and, and he... He's actually proud that he did this. He's actually proud that, that he's going to have families paying more for movies and more for their newspaper. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is just so wrong. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, yes. Uh, it eliminates exemptions for meals sold at higher education institutions. So college kids, they already have to pay for books, tuition. Oh, yeah. They have to pay a sales tax on their meal plans. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Back to, eliminates back-to-school sales tax holidays. Uh, here in Florida, from Governor Rick Scott, uh, last year I think he did like five of these holidays. Now, not all of them were for school supplies. A couple of them were for hurricane um, supplies. But still, it is a good idea to have those because um, you you may say that customers only save what seven percent on their school supplies, but these stores they're busier. More customers come in because they guess what they want to save money. And these stores hire more employees. 
more jobs for the economy and and you see it just goes around and round in a good way and of course Pat McCrory does not see it that way because he just does not like poor people for some reason um, and the middle class also it says it eliminates a sales tax break on certain bakery items and let's see what else we got limits tax breaks for farm equipment and supplies to farms that can show at least ten thousand in direct farm income <laughs> ten thousand dollars is not a lot of money folks and you know farmers uh, go through up and down years I mean uh, you could have a great harvest one year and then guess what you have a horrible winter you have a drought in the summer I, it's just ay, really mm -mm -mm. Um, let's see what else we got here <laughs> so all these changes are just awful awful I tell you um, oh yeah one more a <laughs> couple more things that I can tell you the WWAY a TV, TV station in to North Carolina posted back on December 15th that uh, the North Carolina Department of Revenue announced that the state motor fuels tax for the first half of 2015 will be 37.5 cents per gallon up from 36.5 cents a gallon so yes another penny on the highest gas tax in the southeast Oh, but don't worry, folks, because Governor McCrory is uh, also met with President Obama to discuss expanding Medicaid. So that's even more burden on lower income, middle middle class people in North Carolina too. Because eventually, what's going to happen is the Medicaid is going to the Medicaid funds from the federal government are going to run out, and then you, the taxpayer, are going to be on the hook. It's just lovely. Um, so, in conclusion of this, I have to tell you folks that you're going to have to make a hard decision. And a lot of you watching this are registered Republicans, or at least are independent conservatives. And I have to tell you, you're going to have to do something you may not want to do. And that is, in 2016, you need to do one of, one of two things need to happen. One, Pat McCrory must be defeated either in a primary or, yes, in a general election, vote for the Democrat nominee. Whoever it is, because I, 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 I can just tell you that, listen, um, when I was a bad kid, my parents would always spank me and discipline me. And you know what? I didn't like being spanked at the time, but you know what? I turned out to be a better person because my parents disciplined me. Well, well, that is what... Voters in the Republican Party need to do to, well, the Republican Party. They need to discipline them and say, look, this tax reform is voodoo economics, and it must be repealed. And what we have to do is tell Governor Pat McCrory, it's time for you to go bye-bye. And guess what, folks? It's time for me to go bye-bye, too. Watch out for the voodoo. This has been The Bobby Crawford Show.